Another duotone technique is to convert something like this into this. Using the previous method of converting to grayscale and then to duotone would give us this image. Notice how the shoes are still white. Open up spotchannelstart.psd. You'll see this full color image. You can see that it's RGB in several places, but take a look at the channels panel specifically. It should be docked with the layers panel, but if it isn't, you can open it easily enough from the window menu. You can see the red, green, and blue channels, as well as a shoes channel. That's a mask channel I pre-created by selecting the shoes and then using the save selection command on the select menu. In a moment, we'll use its counterpart, load selection, to load that mask channel as a selection of just the shoes. Right now, let's convert the image to grayscale with image, mode, grayscale. Now with the color gone, the channels panel reveals that we have just two channels, the gray color channel and the shoes mask channel. Let's put that mask channel to use and select the shoes. There are several ways you can load a selection from a mask channel. First, the official long way. Make sure you have the gray channel highlighted in the channels panel. Go to select, load selection. In the channel field drop-down list, choose shoes and click OK. The shoes are now selected. If that's the way you always load selections, you're about to learn a very handy shortcut. Deselect everything by pressing Command-D on Mac or Control-D on Windows. With the gray channel still selected, hold the Command key on Mac or the Control key on Windows and click on the preview thumbnail of the shoes channel right here. That loads the shape of the channel as a selection. Since the channel is a mask channel whose shape we want, that accomplishes exactly the same thing as the longer method of using the load selection dialog. That trick also works on layers. Now, to colorize the shoes, we need a third channel, another color channel, a spot channel. From the Channels Panel menu, choose New Spot Channel. When it shows you this, click on the color swatch to open the color picker. You don't want the picker. Instead, we want to choose a Pantone color, so click Color Libraries, choose the correct library, and then your color. I want Pantone Plus Solid Coated, and the color I've chosen from my handy Pantone Plus Solid Coated printed swatch book is 213C. I can either scroll for it or very quickly type 213 on my keyboard. Click OK and voila, the shoes are colorized with the spot color. If you want to colorize the entire image, replacing all the white with a spot color, you can do that by following the same simple directions, but by selecting the entire image before creating the spot channel. Just hit Command A or Control A and then create the spot channel. This image will output at your printers using just two inks, black represented by the gray channel and the spot color. Now that you know how to create actual duotone mode images and images in grayscale with spot channels, let's move into creating duotone effects and appearances on full color images when we aren't concerned with the number of inks we output.